So things went down this last week. What you are about to see is real and unscripted. My apologies for the poor quality of the footage and presentation. Hi, unsolicited life update, and sorry about my appearance, but this is happening in real time. So, yeah, no water. So let's back up a tick. Saturday, 7 p.m., Labor Day weekend. My water pressure plummets. Hmm, that's weird. But I shut off the well and I don't call the plumbers until Tuesday morning because of the holiday weekend. Tuesday, 1 p.m. The plumbers just left. Fortunately, they were very quickly able to diagnose the exact issue. Um, we gotta dig up the backyard. The pump is working, but the water's not getting into the house. There's a connective piece between, the, well, let me show you. This is the well. Yeah, I know, it's not to code. About here, several feet down, the pipe goes into the house and the connector on the pipe, gasket's gone. So the water pumps right back into the well casing. I just dropped $1,200 on the van last month. I... So they're gonna let me help by getting the digging started. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna get done, but any amount I dig, I don't have to pay a plumber $75 an hour to do. So that's the plan. turned into an archaeological dig. Got a part pottery shard and bone for dog probably. Spoiler, I found no bodies. And a rusted out piece of metal. If it looks like this is slow going, it is. Turns out the soil is all clay. I know what that is. <laughs> Haven't seen one in decades, probably. <laughs> the really fun part about all this, I got no way to clean up after. If you're wondering, my hat fits wonky like that because my head is just that small and that's how tight I have to cinch it to fit. Electrical wire. Oh, that's not important. I'm gonna do this in spurts. I didn't film further that night because I was getting tired and frankly too filthy to be handling the camera. I ended up using wet ones to clean my dirt-streaked, sweaty body. Wednesday, 8 a.m. Okay, this is the beginning of day two. I got pretty far yesterday until my muscles completely gave out and I got down to the pipe. But of course, there's no room to work around the pipe. You can just see the top of the pipe. So let's see if my muscles can handle a second day. It's fine. We're fine. We're all fine here. Oh, yeah, that's wet. I'm 
trying to avoid stepping down in there because we had a good solid of rain. And I don't think I have any galoshes. I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm gonna be getting my feet wet. You know, the funny thing is, I don't think I'd go to this much trouble digging to bury a body. I could have fit two bodies in here by now. Oh God. I do not have the stamina I did yesterday. I'm all red. Lovely. So, shoveling hack. If you're shoveling clay and there's water in the bottom and you take the slightly drier clay and put it in the water, it absorbs the water. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Um, I'm absolutely filthy. Ugh, and I don't feel like I've made any headway yet because I'm just widening the hole so that the guys have room to work to get at the pipe. It's worth noting here though, it's not lost on me. Oh my God. Um, it's not lost on me that just a couple of weeks ago, I made a very serious gesture toward committing myself to a more intimate relationship with Gaia. She's like, you want to get intimate with the dirt? I think she heard me. Not what I was picturing. <laughs> but, um... I'm going to say she heard me. <laughs> Who says the gods don't have a sense of humor? <laughs> oh. oh yeah, and my mowing pants, I think this is it for them. We're not even going to wash these. I, I hope they can fix this soon. I can't go many more days like this. <sighs> okay, I've stalled long enough. Got to get back to it. Um, I'm filthy right now, just filthy. Um, I've got no strength left. This is two days of digging. I mean, thank goodness it was cloudy today. If it had been sunny and 90 degrees, I don't know how far I would have gotten. I'm really hoping that's enough clearance for them to do this. <laughs> Cause I've got no clean work clothes left. I think we're gonna call that good, I hope, and clean up. Right now, I'm so grimy and so gross. The wet wipes, they're just not gonna cut it, so I think I'm gonna splurge and heat up some water and have a sponge bath. Because you know what? I'm worth it. This is the offending connection, but none of the damage is visible yet. And then it was Friday morning when the plumbers returned. What they discovered when the top casing came off was chilling. You're looking at the top of the well pipe in there. If you look closely, you can see that it has rusted nearly completely through. As heavy as the pump and two or 300 feet of pipes are, it's a freaking miracle they didn't simply drop into the abyss. It took a wench, two four by fours, a contraption called an upsy daisy, and a coat hanger to get the precarious pipe secured and up out of the casing. Whew. As you can see now, this is what it's supposed to look like. And I'm sorry, I didn't get any footage of the plumbers working. They were in a hurry and squeezing me into an already full schedule. I didn't want to make it worse asking them if they're comfortable on camera and the internet. They didn't have a replacement casing with them. Uh, that's my bad. I asked them for a new one because the old one was too short for code. So they came back with the new one that same evening and finished closing it all back up for me. And after so many days with no water, I am really 
really grateful to them for their hustle and especially for saving that pipe from a terminal drop. Okay. <laughs> it's about, I don't know, four on Friday. They've got it all put back together, all hooked up. It's not threatening to fall down into the abyss. Such a dirty mess. Okay. We even have a new casing that is high enough it should be to code. High enough above ground. Now I just gotta put all of the dirt back in the hole. <laughs> and then I can take a hot bath. Again, if it looks like I'm moving really slowly here, one, I am. I'm already exhausted from all the digging and two, this is all clay and has had two days now to get rained on and firmed down. I tried to save some of the worms and beetles from being stomped into goo. And then I didn't have any caution tape, so I slipped down a strip of white duct tape to warn any future diggers where the pipe and wire run. And by this point, it should have been easy to finish, but my arms were so dead, it was pathetic. Finally, I replaced what was left of the turves. This should have been the fun part, like Tetris, but I was so beat, I just wanted to throw them down and go collapse. I'll probably smooth it out more tomorrow, but I'm fucking wiped. Not that bad for having dirt out for a few days. And I'll bet that will spring back up pretty quick. One good rain will help a lot. All told, I went six and a half days without indoor plumbing. So that's my week. I hope yours is less exciting. Thanks for watching my misadventure. Hopefully the next video will be a little more planned. Until then, keep it wild. <laughs>